So it's Kalosh Kieran from Leak Slip versus Crescent College Comprehensive School. It is Crescent College that's a lead in 30 to 18. I'm joined for this one by Conor Meany. Halftime score was 26-18 to Crescent College. They've had a good start to this second half. Conor, give us a quick recap. Who's been particularly uh, good in the first half? Yeah, uh, so Crescent College really kind of came into the ascendancy in the second quarter there. They have a little bit of size on Clash de Kieran and uh, in particular is a good work from Hannah O'Byrne and Alicia Russell on the inside. So Russell had seven points and O'Byrne had six points in that first half. On the other end, uh, the two top scorers uh, for, for Le League Slip were Clara Boyce at five and, and Kelly Bracken at four. They've been the top two scorers throughout the tournament or the competition for them. But as you see there, Crescent Comprehensive are paying a huge amount of attention to the two of them, particularly Boyce on the inside and not giving her any room to, to manoeuvre. So it's 31-18. We're into the third quarter. 6.20 to go in this third quarter. Queen drives to the basket and gets two. Kelly Bracken looks to come back for Lisa. As Connor says, they've paid a lot of attention to her. She's not got anything easy. Good rebound from Crescent Comp. And again, it's Queen. Nice pass to a cut in Walsh, who is foul and will go to the line for two shots. Yeah, I think over the course of the game, what we're seeing is that Crescent Comprehensive probably have one or two extra options so they have four or five players who are all contributing and they also have that little bit of extra physicality which is really making a big impact on the game so far so Ali Walsh can't finish the first second goes astray but great rebound from the captain of Byrne can't finish and here is Bracken, the lead is really stretched here to 15, so Klosch to Kieran in need of scores. Bradley to Boyce, again three people surrounding her. Baseline drive, and we're going to get a foul as Grace Barry was fouled. And that foul I think is going to go against number 11. It is number 11, so it'll be Rachel Summers' third foul. And uh, Connor, just with the bench, I mean, there's only seven players for, for Crescent Comp, so is, is foul trouble? They have two players on three fouls. Is foul trouble something that could come in and influence this game as Crescent College currently quite comfortably in the lead? Yeah, they're definitely comfortable at the moment. It, it is a worry with two players on three fouls, and they're playing a zone, so they should be able to have uh, discipline to avoid that foul trouble but it will be the one thing that could shift the momentum of this game but for Kalash Kieran against that zone if they're going to have undersized players who are out open on the perimeter they're going to have to both take and make some perimeter shots if they're going to get back into this game Good jump ball and it'll be Kalash Kieran ball on the possession arrow So it'll be Bracken. Foul back to Bracken. And that one's going to be stolen away. Good steal from O'Byrne. She looks to find Welsh. And we're going to get another jump ball. This time it'll be Crescent Comp ball. And they're going to get a timeout here. For Crescent Comp, they're leading currently 33 to 18.
Welcome back. 4.54 to go in this third quarter. This under 16A, Pinergy All Island Schools. Cup final. Shot goes up and in for Rachel Summers. And you talked about um, the strength and depth that they have, the, the, the five different scores, but still a little bit too easy getting a mid-range jump shot. And we've seen a few too many of those for, for Crescent Comp. Yeah, at times Clash of Karen are almost hoping that they'll miss rather than trying to force them to miss, whereas on the other end there's a lot of activity in that zone. Even if there is gaps in it there, you can see that Crescent Comp are moving on the defensive end, so that's been a big factor. That's borne out there by the fact they nearly missed the shot clock. Good defence, rebounded well by Russell, but she is then called for a carry. Bracken to Bradley. Back to Bracken. Nice baseline pass and drive. And that'll be a foul. Sending Kira Foul to the line for two shots. Yeah, you can see it's ac it actually looks like it's a box and one on Kelly Bracken. So she passed cut through and still had a lot of attention on her. So you can see the respect that Tony Hare has for her. That last foul went on Alicia Russell. That'll be her second. Those free throws are both short. Can't afford to be Miss No got great steal by Bradley. And he's called for a travel. Good defense from Crescent Combat to turn it over. Been nothing easy so far in this game for Klaus and They've had to work for everything they've got with a good zone defense, as Connor mentioned. And this time. It'll be a travel the other way. Rachel Summers just shuffling her feet. Bracken to foul. Foul tries to find a bit of space. Bradley puts the ball on the floor. Can't score and it's rebounded and outlet by Byrne and eventually into the hands of Walsh. And Crean finishes off with a nice two-point shot and good fast break basketball from Crescent Comp. Yeah, they're getting out of running, which is they're getting some easy points, which is exactly what Clash de Kiron really need. Clash de Kiron haven't scored yet in the second half. So they're gonna have to find a way to create some offense soon. Because for a large part of that first half, they were right there at thereabouts within four, five or six points. It only was kind of at the end of the second quarter and the beginning of this third quarter that it's kind of suddenly grown into a much bigger lead. 37-18, yeah. so a 19 point lead. And danger time here. As Boyce looks to find a bit of space. Too hard off the backboard and O'Byrne has, has been the trend in the game, grabs another rebound. Walsh to Summers, Summers trying to put a bit of space, a nice finish inside from Rachel Summers. Yeah, it's the gaps are starting to appear and you know, Crescent Comprehensive are taking full advantage of it. Bracken dishes to foul, but she can't hit the jump shot. And here comes Queen. She's gonna get always the basket. Good hands from Boyce. It goes out of bounds. And we're gonna get a timeout here as Kloster Kieran wants to talk things over, trailing 18 to 39.
So 2.30 to go, third quarter. 716 A girls, Pinergy All Island Schools final. Crescent Comp are running away with this a little bit here. Cross to Kieran. And Coach Yvonne Bracken calling the timeout there, Connor. Just try and settle the troops. Really, this next two minutes of this quarter will be a big uh, telling if they're going to have any chance, and that's a good start. Yeah, brilliant shot there uh, by, by Clara. Uh, Clara Boyce has been one of their top scorers, but you can see Ali Walsh is pretty much face guarding uh, Bracken, which is going to make it really, really difficult for their top offensive player to get involved. Summers back out to Russell for two, that doesn't go. Walsh nearly grabs the rebound and it will be Bracken who in the open court, left hand finish bounces out and rebounded by Summers. And this time it's Queen, she'll have a chance to get away the basket and she does. A little bit too strong but off the hands of foul and it'll be Crescent Comp ball. Yeah, you can see Bracken did get an opportunity there and sometimes if you're getting a lot of attention in boxing one, if you can get in, out in, into transition it'll give you opportunities but the issue is that they're they're not able to really force many stops or get steals to get out and run and as you can see again Ali Walsh you're going to be able to see her following Kelly all over the court here turnover as foul and Diffney went on the same wavelength Walsh, Walsh and Bracken having a titanic battle on both ends of the floor. Two pointers up and good from Summers. And Summers has shot the ball well from that mid-range. She's made the last couple now. Yeah, really good. And it, it really, it, that's what opens up gaps for other players is when you have people from the perimeter able to knock down shots. So it's been a big impact. Intensely, Bracken does get open from the three-point line and knocks that one down. And you kind of see, when you see shots like that, you kind of see why Crescent Comp are paying so much attention to her. Yeah, she scored 30 in the first round, and she's a great scorer. We've seen, uh, you mentioned, she comes from a family who with a huge amount of talent. Kira Bracken here a few years ago hit nine threes in an under-19A final. So it's the sort of thing that their family are well known for. Diffney's call for the foul just as the shot clock was clicking down to one. 27 seconds to go in this quarter. The Ava Queen will go to the line for two shots. And she makes one of two, 42-23. Bradley that will bring the ball up, so a slight change. Hand off to Bracken. Bracken finds a moment of space, but quickly shut down by Walsh. Boyce up for two, doesn't go. Rebounded by O'Byrne. And Queen with five seconds to go. Walsh, Walsh will get the shot off and tanks it in. Right at the end of the third quarter, so at the end of this third quarter, it's Crescent Comp 42, Colossal Q and 23, so like 44-23.
Welcome back here. We're underway in the final quarter of this under 16A Pinergy All Island Schools Cup final. Walsh gets the ball back on a three point line. She'll put up a three. That one bounced out, but is well rebounded by Russell. Stolen away by Bracken. Bracken to Boyce. And she's going to get a charge called. Good defense that time by Summers. Connor through three quarters now. Score-wise, it looks a little bit of a struggle now. They're on 23 points, Klosha Kieran. They're trailing by 21. Yeah, they, they really struggled in that third quarter. So, you know, the first quarter it was 14-9. Second quarter, 12-9. So both pretty close. And then that third quarter was 18-5. to five, So that's really where the gap has exploded. And... You just hope that Clash to Caron can keep working away on defense and start knocking down some shots in this fourth quarter to make it a bit closer. Good passing by Crescent Comp with five on the shot clock. And we're going to get a jump ball. And it will be Clash to Caron ball on the possession arrow. 7.14 to go. And Kelly Bracken with the ball for Clash to Caron. Bradley. Bradley gets the screen from Boyce, but nowhere to go. Want to go away with a little bit of walk, but it's stolen away by Walsh, and she has a, a free run at the basket. Great defense from Farrell. She gets back and gets her hands on the ball. Green with a runner, doesn't go, rebounded by O'Byrne, stolen, uh, rebounded this time by Costa Kieran and Bracken has the ball, foul just thought it was intended for someone else, pulled the hand away, so it'd be another turnover. Ali Walsh for Kresel Comp to Alicia Walsh. Russell, Russell with a float that doesn't go. Again, a miscommunication and Russell will get the ball back. Here's Queen. She'll get all the way to the basket. A nice finish inside from Ava Queen. I think that's her 16th point of the game. She's been fantastic offensively and uh, it's really been when you can get consistent scoring from particularly one person, but they're getting consistent scoring from a number of people. That's really the difference between the two teams. First foul on Ali Walsh. It's Russell again, guarded by Walsh. Gets it across to Bradley. Nowhere to go for Bradley, but it will bounce off the foot of Russell and it will remain close to and ball. Seven on the shot clock. Three on the shot clock and good hand from O'Byrne. On here, I think it was 24 second violation, but we're going to get a timeout here with 5:48 to go.
So welcome back here. 5.40 to go. 23 point lead for Crescent Comp. Connor, at this point, we've kind of seen a similar pattern throughout. So is there really anything else that Kalosha Kieran can try? It's a, it's a, big, uh, it's a big deficit. So it's with double points at this point. Yeah, it's, it's going to be very difficult for them, but uh, they have to just keep playing, trying uh, as they have been, and if they get open looks from the perimeter, they have to just shoot it and shoot it with confidence. Uh, you know, it's going to be difficult for them to attack around the basket. Crescent Comp have done a good job of clogging up the middle, so just shoot your shots and shoot it with confidence. One of those set shots does go up there. It doesn't go, though. Rebounded by Russell. He saw even there, it took 24 seconds just to be able to get an open shot. There was no real space for them. This time it's Queen again with a score, and she's really been able to score from everywhere. Yeah, she's, she's scored in so many different ways and has been the standout offensive player from the, from the two teams. She's really been excellent. Summers slows it down. Gets it back, and the shot goes up from Summers. Rebounded by Boyce. Bracken just evades Queen as she looks to try and get the steal. Foul on the wing inside to Boyce. Boyce puts one up but doesn't go. Rebounded by Summers, and she'll get it forward to Queen, who again goes strong to the basket, and again shows a beautiful touch to finish. Yeah, brilliant there by her. She's Outscored Clash to Kieran in the second half by herself uh, has had a huge impact. So it's great to see her doing so well and scoring in so many ways, as we said. Boyce grabs her own rebound. Oh, Connor, as well as doing a, a great job on uh, on Brack, and they've also managed to keep Boyce quite as well. She's had some big scores early on in the competition, but not been that effective today. Yeah, it's very difficult for her because they're surrounding her basically and they've matched up with Bracken and then they're surrounding Boyce inside with lots of bodies. So it's very difficult for her to get any opportunities and so much is going to be asked for her. She's the biggest player uh, by a, a decent amount on the Clash to Care on team. So she's expected to rebound as well. So checking into the game, first game, number six, Ashley Kelly. And number 12, Lauren Norton. So they'll be on for the last three minutes, 26. This one, and checking out the game after an excellent job. Number nine, Alicia Russell. Also, Rachel Summers has gone off. She's had an excellent second half. Ball on the floor for Bradley. Goes astray, four on the shot clock, and really, even in this quarter, whilst the game is almost done, Crescent College's uh, defence just hasn't allowed anything easy for, for Kloster Keown. Yeah, they've made some little adjustments and have increased the pressure throughout, and they're really active, and they're getting it. Uh, <laughs> it's a shot clock violation, but we've seen it so many different times that We've either the shot clock has run out or it's been low in the shot clock before Kalash Takir and I have had a, a look at the basket. So very impressive defense. So Queen down the middle of the lane. Doesn't go but rebounded by O'Byrne. And we get a kick ball. 2.49 to go in this fourth quarter. It's 50 to 23. Queen this time has nowhere to go. She's well defended by Diffney. She manages to get the ball back. Good steal from Boyce. It'll be jump ball on the floor and it will be Crescent Comp ball with, with only two seconds left on the shot clock. Queen gets up to three, doesn't go. Rebounded by Diffney. Just about manages to find Bracken. He finishes for two. Yeah, good work there by Diffney. Looked ahead and Kelly finishes the fast break layup. 
They're the sort of easy baskets that Clash de Kieran really needed in that third quarter to keep things close and keep them in the game. Good hands from Bradley on defense, but she goes out of bounds. Again, good hands from Bracken this time. 2.08 to go, 12 on the shot clock here. Cream for three, really banks it in. Again, another rebound by O'Byrne. She's been dominant on the boards at both ends in this one. Bracken gets it forward to Bradley. Bradley, a bit too strong off the boards, rebound away Boyce. Can come back out to Diffany. Foul with a baseline jump shot. Boyce will get another chance and she's fouled and she'll go to the line for two shots. Yeah, she's done a great job all game. You can see she's frustrated, but at the same time, She's been battling away. We saw her on the floor down the other end, led to a jump ball, and she kept working away there and the uh, trip to the free throw line. Knocks that one down. Second one a bit strong, and another rebound for O'Byrne. Good defense from. Bracken, a great steal. Bradley have a chance to go all the way and makes no mistake. 50-28, 130 to go. Queen. Queen screens. Gets it inside, stolen away by Boyce. Bradley gets it to Bracken. Back to Bradley, Bradley finds a bit of space, but just dribbles off her foot, slows things down. Here is Boyce, tries to find a bit of space. Nice step through and great finish for Boyce. And that will lead to a timeout with just under a minute to go. Welcome back here, 56 seconds to go in this under 16A Pinagy All-Island Schools Cup Final. This Crescent College comp, 50, Kloster Kieran, 30. Yes. So, Ava Queen, who's been excellent throughout Connor, the uh, result. No longer in doubt, probably hasn't been for a while, but great performance from Klaus Kieran, but the better team has definitely won on the day. Yeah, I think uh, the, the team that had a bit more depth and a bit more variety in what they were capable of doing uh, have won out the game. They were very solid defensively, really targeted in how do you slow down uh, Boyce and Bracken, and they've, they've done that for the majority of the game, and then on the offensive end, They've had a variety of scores, kind of led by Ava Crean, and we've had really good performances from uh, Walsh and Russell as well, and O'Byrne, so uh, yeah, definitely deserving winners. I'm gonna get a kick ball with 14 seconds to go. So it'll be Crescent College ball, 14 on the shot clock, 14.8 on the game clock. Uh, 
And we've got a five second call. So it'll be turnover across the queue and we'll get one more possession. Ten to go, Bradley. Bracken being stolen away by the great defense and Walsh, the two bodies there. Walsh will go all the way. And we have a stop clock with 0.8 of a second to go. Yeah, it's probably a fitting way to end the game though. It really sums it up that Bracken surrounded by so much defensive pressure and leads to Ali Walsh getting the steal and a run out. So congratulations to Crescent Comprehensive. So there we have it, the end of this under 16A girls Pinergy All Island Cup final. It's Crescent Comprehensive that have come out winners. An excellent game. They've defeated Kloster Kieran's leak slip 52 to 30. You can stay with us for the presentation and then we'll be back in a, about 30 minutes for the next game. Hopefully there'll be no issues with the start of that one. So for now, it's Crescent College, so they're the under-16A Pinnacle All-Ireland champion, champion, so congratulations to them, and we'll stay for the medal presentation. <laughs>